self-inflating my ass. Why do they call these self-inflating mattresses? I mean, they fill up with a little bit of air, but it only took me about six puffs. Works for me. Hey, Dash Rip Rock. Just got back from the stream. I have my um, drinking water hanging from the tree behind me in my camel back. And uh, I need some water to uh, do the dishes with and you know what I'm really hot I'm gonna splash my face here in a second and I, I just love this thing like I said it's uh, 300 ounces 10 liter and you know it stands right up so let me take my glasses off here mm -hmm. you know it's the upper 80s and the humidity's not too bad the bugs have gone away I've done a second spray of bug spray and I'm just cooling down. I'll do my dishes with that. And, you know, I'll weigh this later, but I don't know how much this weighs. But it's worth its weight in gold. I mean, if I have any trouble with the fire, spark gets out and I catch it and uh, I'm doing something over at camp. Uh, I can douse the fire with that. Uh, so this is my setup. Let me give you a tour. I'll be right back. Love it. Okay. This is where I was shooting from. Got the old campfire there. I'm about ready to make dinner. I'm hungry. I, I haven't eaten since breakfast. <clears throat> my pack's hanging there. Uh, there's the uh, my camelback I was talking about. Now I also, I'm zooming in here, have uh, that little green lantern, the Coleman lantern, backpacking lantern. It's it's pretty light. I mean, I'm gonna look up the lumens, but that thing's bright, and I, I love that thing. That worth its that's worth its weight in gold, also. And uh, there's my candle lantern. Uh, it's not meant for the um, the little tea candles there, but I ad libbed as they say. And let's take a walk around. So hanging from the tree right here is my tool belt. And uh, you know, if I didn't carry it that way, I think I would bring the belt and hang it that way anyways. I don't know. And I got a little bit of firewood. Like I said, my friend Shiloh uh, gave me to bring up for the trip, so I haven't had any, haven't had any to spend any time. My pack is hanging from the tree. I'll put that in the car, but if I wasn't, I'd build a tripod and put it under the tent with me. Now the 
this is in porch mode, as you hammock hangers say. I've been doing this for 15 years, and I used to call it a room with a view. So it's a room with a view for me. So it's in it's in that mode, and my camel back, and coming around. There's my mess kit, my cook kit, two different stoves in there. And I got the radio out. I'm about to listen to some tunes while I'm going to cook some dinner. And the view, very hazy today. I'll try to zoom in. Table Rock is through there. You're not going to be able to see Table Rock through this heavy brush. I uh, really don't have much of a view. It's, it is hazy, but if I can get through these trees here and see if the camera will focus, you might be able to see a little mountain horizon. And if you can, I apologize. It's a nice campsite. I mean, it's my fourth time here. It's my fourth site. My first time I had the best site. Uh, second time I had the second best site. Third time I had the third best site and so on. But uh, this is the road in, the driveway in. Uh, it's just right off the road there. And I don't think I'm gonna have any visitors. I got my Jeep with me. I, I, there is a second road. I didn't go through that even with my Jeep. I'm not, I'm not that silly. Although I wanted to. And there's the old black widow. But I came in this way. There's a second driveway into this campsite. Can't wait to go down to the gorge tomorrow. And there it is right there. And I was actually a little worried about that. I mean, the last thing you want to do is get stuck in the mud out here. I did, I did throw it in the four-wheel drive to get, uh, to get in here. And I did back in. I figured I'd rather get stuck backing in while I first arrived than getting stuck backing out when I'm trying to leave. So I'm gonna power out of there. Uh, and there's not, it's not supposed to be any rain for the weekend. Actually, I think Sunday night, a 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms, uh, which here in uh, North Carolina means if you don't get it, it's probably going to be sunny. If you do get it, it's probably going to be tornado warning. So uh, let's hope we don't get it. And uh, if we do, we'll be we'll be prepared because my car is right there. I'll I'll bail. So okay, talk to you later. Dinner time. Flies ain't working, fish ain't biting, and they're trying to tell me something. I don't care this moment, so will I It was a full day And yes, I used it Now it's time for one last look around And I'm on my way Almost there I'm more